The thing about Bob Iger right now is that he is very hypocritical, he's very contradictory as a CEO, always flip-flopping when it comes to his statements about the current outlook on the future of the Walt Disney Company when it comes down to different divisions like Marvel Studios, Lucasfilm, or projects catered to their live-action Disney remakes based on the animated classics, one of which, by the way, being Snow White 2025. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, Bob Iger is not drawing back from DEI. He is not backing away from that. In fact, he is doubling down on it after hiring a new DEI supervisor that will be paid $200,000 a year, by the way, to really establish that overall ideology into all live action remakes moving forward for the remainder of this decade and beyond. Now, focusing on Rachel Zegler, she has not been taking the criticism well from what it sounds like. She begins to go on the blame game train yet again toward the general public, toward those that are opposed to what Disney is spewing out there, and based on a lot of families, by the way, boycotting this movie outright after the PR disaster, the press tour disaster as well that took place via the Walt Disney Company, and this is where things begin to get even worse. Now, what's interesting about Zegler is that she turns out that she had a lot of influence over the backstory of Snow White and she'll talk more about that in the coming weeks but what's interesting about this is how she yet again goes on this scapegoat and really goes on the pointing the finger game at the general public. Let's get into this. Now, with the Walt Disney Company in panic mode over their live action remakes, especially with Snow White 25, one monumental development going on currently has more to do with Zegler addressing her issues with the public's view of the upcoming 25 film. Now, Zegler delivered the following. Well, hey, look, I mean, we are approaching this story to be told differently than the 1937 animated film. We really wanted to make this into a movie that really represents feminism and empowerment, something that I take full pride in as an actress and as a person, and getting the chance to work with Greta Gerwig has been both challenging and rewarding. But when you are dealing with a part of society that is unwilling to adapt to how the modern female should be portrayed on film in a movie as big as this, I think that's the obstacle that we are facing right now. I just think it's unacceptable to see so many families falling for that narrative that Disney is trying to push some kind of ideology. And it's just a flat out lie. Trust me on this. People are making such a big fuss out of Snow White's new backstory and how she got her name from surviving a snowstorm. Like, who the hell cares, man? I mean, really, so what if we change the source material to fit the modern times and how Snow White is going to be played by somebody like me that comes from a different ethnic background? It was, in fact, my idea to change her backstory and Greta just loved the idea of it all and put it in the script right away. We are dealing with a new trend where society Society will just criticize anything unless they can see themselves in this movie or if any project out there. If not, or if they can't relate to that character, they just check out and that's just wrong behavior coming from how people think nowadays. We really went through so many changes with this movie where it feels like we told three different tales, but we are going through some revisions and I think in the end it's going to impress everybody. Men, women, children, others, just everyone. It's our perfect opportunity to address how a woman can be as powerful as she can be. And to those that reject something like that, it's just living proof that we have much work to do with society and how it operates around the globe. Now guys, let me just stop here about what Rachel Zegler is spewing yet again about Snow White, the live action remake. Now, mind you, uh, we have a full-length trailer coming out roughly next month. They want to get this thing out by Thanksgiving time to really kind of prep up the marketing campaign before that late March debut. Now, reshoots are on the horizon for December of this year. And so far, it's not looking good all, at all. Uh, between the tensions of uh, Rachel and Gal having a lot of personal issues as well as their overall business relationship, you know, as actresses working on this movie. They really are having a tough time, creatively speaking. But the other uh, side of this is the fact that more funds are being poured into this film. In fact, a roughly estimated 20 to 25 million dollars going into the reshoots on top of the already 300 million dollars for Snow White 
That is massive, and this could very well and potentially be a bigger failure than the Acolyte series based on how much you're spending and the outcome of how this is not going to resonate with people out there. Now, what's interesting about this has a lot to do with the fact that she's already beginning to blame those that are opposed to this actual story, families that reject this story because it's obviously driven by an ideology as much as she wants to make it like that's a lie or that's a false narrative. She is the one who is in fact lying about that. Bob Iger has been very upfront about how DEI is going to actually be their number one priority over a story. And let's not forget about that leaked uh, Zoom call from like, what was it, a year, year and a half ago about how they want a certain percentage in every single movie and or TV show associated with Disney to be all about LGBTQ or to be all about feminism or addressing the ongoing real world issues. Everything like that really fits together and it just goes to show that the Disney narrative, their ideology is very much a real thing as much as Rachel Zegler wants to deny it. Now, moving on forward, she goes on to conclude, I am proud to be Snow White. I would never take this opportunity away or feel guilt about taking the role even though it came with criticism because that criticism just comes from bigotry and sexism. It's just a fact that it needs to come to a halt already. We are dealing with something new. We are all also doing something new here. And yes, you will see some similarities to the 37th film now, but it's going to be different when you get to the true details of that story and how it really is a film for women in 2024 and how one can be a warrior and lead. That was the one thing I was so proud of is that this is going to serve as a great message to the many women out there looking for an icon like myself as Snow White to lead their way into the light. The criticism is just nothing more than an attempt of a distraction to prevent our message from going out there. So again, I think Rachel's beginning to really lose her grasp with reality and how the real world works. People that just don't like agenda-driven nonsense are not gonna see something that is created by a studio that believes in that. I mean, that's just how it works. And that's why you're having a lot of these families, these younger audiences, uh, boycotting this movie outright. Um, and for those that are really, you know, uh, just learning about Snow White 25, be aware that this is a movie that is fully written by Greta Gerwig, who fully believes that feminism and LGBTQ and everything else should be the priority over a story. And that's the number one issue over at Disney. Look, if you want to do that and it comes naturally in the script writing process, I guess fine. But when you use that as a priority over a story, that's when things lack in detail and in substance. And that's when it just does not connect with the viewer or the audience member. That's why you have a lot of Disney failures throughout 2023 this year, and most likely in 2025 again. But overall, I would like to hear what everyone has to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.